with exercise 5, question number 1. The car drives straight off the edge of a cliff that is 57 high. Okay, so 57 high actually they give you the information as y. Okay, is equals to 57. The investigator at the scene of the accident notes that the point of the impact is 130 meter from the base. So this is S sector where the car drop at here. Okay, is equals to 130 meter. How fast was the car traveling when it went over the cliff? So meaning that this is case number one. Okay, case number one where the horizontal launch with theta equals to zero. Okay, so we only have ux. Okay, we only have ux, but we don't have uy. Eh? We know that uy is equals to zero. Okay, so our ux is the value that we want to find, and uy equals to zero. Okay, we resolve it into x and y component. Okay, however, your vx and vy. Okay. So Vx and Vy uh, depends at which position. Okay, it depends. So later this one we can calculate. But we know that Vx will always equal to Ux. Okay, because we know that V for x component is always constant. Okay, so Vy we don't know. Okay, because at different position we have different Vy. Okay, Ax will always equal to zero. However, Ay will equal to negative nine point eight one. Okay, Sx equals to Uxt and the value is equal to 130 meter. Okay, and our Sy is 57. Okay, so we write 57. So when the car reached the ground, okay, car, this is our reference point, eh? 0, 0, this is the origin, the reference point. So when you go down to the ground, actually it's moving downward. Okay, it's below the reference point, so we must put negative 57. Okay, so time for x component and time for y component actually are the same. Okay, so later you can use. So now we want to find ux. So before you find ux, you must have three information first. But here we only have uh, ax and also xx, so we still lack of information. Okay, so what should we do is we can go to uh, component y okay because we have three informations we have ui we have ay we have sy and we can find t first then only we substitute inside here okay so we try to solve y component first so for y component we have uast okay so we can use um, what are the equation we can use so we can use s equals to ut minus half g t squared okay where s equals to negative 57 u is equals to 0 negative half okay g is 9.81 okay so negative i already bring forward okay so i don't need to put negative here and then you can find your t squared uh, you can find t later okay so our t is equals to if you press calculator you will get 3.41 second okay so 3.41 second here for y component actually also equals to x component they are the same eh? for one okay they are the same so next now we already have three information we have ax xx and also we have t Okay, so we also can use S equals to UT plus half AT squared. Okay, where S is 130 and our UX is the value that we want to find. And then T is 3.41 second. A, because A for x component is always equals to zero okay so you will get zero so finally you we will have get our ux and our ux is equals to 38.1 meter 
per second. Okay, so this is question number one. Question number two. A transport plane travelling at a constant velocity of 50 meter per second at an altitude of 300. So we know that this train is actually travel horizontally. This is case number one, horizontal launch theta equals to zero case. So meaning that our ux, we only have ux, okay, where our ux is equal to 50 meter per second. Okay, however, u y is equal to zero because there's no uh, launching at the angle at any angle okay and it is at the altitude of 300 altitude of 300 meaning that this is the height of 300 meter okay release a partial where directly above a point of x on the uh, level of ground so we want to calculate the time okay before we calculate the time we must fill in the blank first now what are the informations that we have Okay, so uh, for UX we have uh, 50, but because the tra the the plane is traveling to the left, so we must put negative negative. Okay, meaning that the sign convention we must consider upward positive, downward negative, uh, upward uh, positive, downward negative to the right positive to the left negative. Okay, and UY equals to zero. VX will always equal to ux so the value still the same negative 50 okay vy we don't know ax will equal to 0 ay will always equal to negative 9.1 sx we don't know but we know that xx always equals to uxt okay so this is our range or xx sy is 300 but if you refer back to the reference point where the bus uh, serve from uh, release from the plane, this is origin zero zero. Okay, this is the origin. So this, when you reach the ground, meaning that it is below the reference point. So we must put negative uh, because negative indicate that it's below the reference point, and we want to find the time. Okay, so uh, we need three informations. Okay, so we can use Y component because we have UY, we have AY, we have SY. Okay, so you can find your T frets uh, by using equation uh, S equals to. Okay, we use Y component. So everything must use Y component. Uh, S equals to UT plus half AT square. Okay. Or you can write S equals to UT minus half GT squared. Okay, My, meaning that I already substitute A, I change it to negative G. So S is negative 300. U for Y component is equals to 0. Okay, minus half. G is negative 9.81 but because I already substitute negative in okay, I already bring forward so I just put 9.81 and find the time taken okay so if you press calculator you will get time equals to 7.82 seconds okay so we can fill in the blanks here where we know that time for Y component will equal to time for X component Okay, next, find the velocity of impact. So when it reach here, it okay, just before it reach the ground, it will move in this direction. V resultant. V resultant. Okay, so before you find the V resultant, you must find first Vx and also you must find Vy. Then you use theorem Pythagoras to find out what is the magnitude. Okay. So we know that our Vx will always equal to Ux and we know that it's equal to negative 50 because it's to the left so we put negative. Okay, so now we need to find Vy. Okay, I change color. Okay, now Vy. Okay, so Vy we must everything must use y component so v equals to u 
plus 80 or we can use V equals to U minus GT okay GT so our V we don't know U is equal to 0 G is equal to 9.81 and our time taken okay, 82 okay so finally our VY you will get answer is equal to a negative 76.71 meter per second okay so negative here indicate that it is moving downward so correct lah, because it's moving downward and then your y exit v uh, sorry for x exit vx also is moving to the left so you should put negative okay so now we have vx we have vy okay so we can use theorem pythagoras to find the okay so step one we already have vx step two we already have vy then we go to step three Okay, so still remember step 3 how to find the magnitude okay so you use the theorem Pythagoras where we use Vx square plus Vy square then you square root so you need to find V resultant where is equal to Vx square plus Vy square okay so you substitute inside the value negative 50 square plus negative 76.71 square okay so finally you will get the answer is equal to 91.57 meter per second Okay, so this is step 3. Okay, step 4 is you need to find the direction by using tangent theta. Okay, you need to find the direction. Okay, so by using tangent theta, tangent theta equals to your modulus, uh, your y component over x component. Okay, so finally you will get tangent equals to 56. 0.9 degree okay and then step 5 you need to sketch the graph okay how to sketch the graph so you must refer back to the x and y component your x is negative okay x is negative so it's to the left and your y just now also you get negative so it's moving downward so meaning that it is at the third quadrant okay so next one next one the last one is the distance from x to the point of the impact 2c okay so we go back to 2c okay 2c we want to find uh, the distance from the x to the point of the impact okay so meaning that we want to find sx so sx from the point x to the impact point this is your xx is equal to uxt uxt okay so your ux is equal to negative 50 and your t just now is 7.82 okay so finally you will get the okay so it's equal to negative 391 meter okay okay so why negative because the direction is to the left okay so that's all